Hi guys, welcome back for the fifth episode of Imaginary Friends. Um, in the episode before we saved the mermaid and we dis or I decided to uh, get to the beach uh, and see if she were there and uh, here she is and I think maybe she can help us uh, find something on the beach maybe I think there is a key where she is Hey, look, there's a key there. Oh, you're right. A garden key. Yeah. Great. She helped us with that. So, we did get something in return. So let's go to the garden. I think it's this way, right? Yes. Save. Yes. See, that's how you how you get past fences. Not climbing over, but opening the gate. Gee, thanks. I could never figure that out for myself. An empty bucket with a bit of dirt at the bottom. That bucket is empty. It is used to carry dirt, so there may be a little bit left. I can't see that. That's a really helpful scarecrow. An empty bucket. That basic bucket <laughs> is used to carry water. It should be empty now though. Does he ever shut up? Maybe he doesn't get so many visitors. I guess. Can we pick up the shovel? Hey! You should borrow that shovel! It's a good shovel. You could even become a knight with that shovel. Except there are no knights in this kingdom. So you can become a gardener or a grave digger, whichever suits you the best. Ooh, I think we have to choose here. <sighs> These choices, man. I. I wonder if the. Depending on which you choose, if the game alters and it can maybe end differently, perhaps? Because I'm thinking, well, I would rather be a gardener, but a grave digger. We did have a grave on the beach, so I'm not sure that we should choose to be a gardener, but we maybe. We can dig something up here too? Huh. Or maybe it doesn't matter. Whatever we choose. I'll take my chances on Gardener. An excellent choice. A gardener's shovel. shovel. I, th I hope we can use it on the beach as well. Finally, someone to come to talk to me. I've been so lonely that I've been talking to myself all the time. Hey, can I ask you to do something for me? There's something I wanted to do for a long time now. Oh, this is embarrassing. This task might be too hard for you. But you are the legendary heroes after all. You'll manage. Where should I start? Could you possibly may maybe take a flower from this garden? and take it to the most beautiful fish in the world? I've been watching them swim around the clouds for years but since I can't move I haven't been able to go talk to them but I want to give them a flower I've grown myself so they can be happy 
as happy as I've been watching them. Will, will you do this for me? Sure. Really? You would do that? Thank you! Now hurry, pick a fla any flower from the flower bed. Those aren't even flowers. Sure seems to be flowers. Maybe those. Actually, no. No. Yes, but pick a flower. Don't take that one. It's not pretty enough. He sure is picky about his flowers. No, I guess so. It would be... Oh, really? Yes, I will take the flower to the fish. The mouse is with Fred. He's always really cranky when he wakes up. Oh, Cute little Wilfred. I guess he is. I like mice. But we will save here for now and we... I suppose we should look up some fish. I don't know if he literally means the fish or I suppose it does or if he talks about the mermaid I'm not sure it depends you never know how a scarecrow thinks Flower for you? Mm, no, apparently not. No more fish here, I guess. No. I don't think we have introduced each other. My name is the most beautiful fish in the world. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> I hope. I hope you're doing well even in times like these. Oh yeah, listen, I, we have something for you. Really? Was it? What is it? A flower? Oh, it's really beautiful. It's from the scarecrow. He wanted to give it to you. Scarecrow? That is really sweet. I didn't even know he could talk. I have to go thank him someday. Thank you for bringing this to me. Well, I guess we'll go back to the Scarecrow. Well, before getting back to the Scarecrow, I stopped by uh, at the beach to check if my theory was true. Which it were. It was. Wait a minute, you're not a grave digger. You can't dig up graves with just a gardening shovel. Try digging somewhere else. So, if we had decided to be a grave digger, we would have been able to dig that up. For better or worse, I guess. I don't know if there is something we need there, or there is a bonus item or something, or if we can change. to be a grave digger perhaps but for now we are going back to the scarecrow and see if we can dig here somewhere you you gave the flower to them what did they say how did they react the fish liked it Really? And I was worrying that we picked the wrong flower. Wow, I'm speechless. Or actually, there are so many things I want to say. Mostly I want to thank you. Thank you for helping me out. 
I'm really happy. I was worried how it would, this would turn out. But looks like a word for no reason. Hey, remember that if there's someone you want to get to know better, always go and talk to them. You'll never get to know th them if you don't. I couldn't go see them, but that's why I sent you. Works the same way. So, thank you. You two are really cool. You feel warmth inside. Can we go inside the house, perhaps? Don't bother trying to get into the sh inside the shack. Wilfred broke the lock accidentally years ago when he was trying to hide a dragon in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he managed to hide the dragon inside but forgot him there. Poor dragon. He could have had a great life with us, with us if he had burned down the shack and flown away. We had to build this new shack, but it's not as good as the old one. So why exactly is the lock broken? Oh, we never used the shack, so so the lock got all rusty. <sighs> That's a long story for a short answer. Or something like that. Can we dig here somewhere? Since we're in a garden? You know? Or did I mess things up when I chose to be a gardener? Oh. Thank you again, 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 again. Yes, yes, yes. Don't wake up, Wilfred. He's really cranky when he wakes up. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. I don't know if I have... I don't know if I messed things up, but I... Hmm. We have the stories, we have the mysterious note yet, and we have the gardener's shovel. I guess we'll go back to the beach, perhaps, and... See if we can do something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the shore. Well, I said it. That's a dad joke for you. Enjoy. We can use the directions and we can dig. Let's see, two from here. Yes. Nothing there. Two from here. Nothing there. Two to the north. A small box containing a human heart. Nothing here, I suppose. We can dig beside the grave, but we can't dig the grave. Nope. Well, that's some kind of progress, and I guess we go to the living house I guess we can call it and giving it its heart
My heart, she brought it back. With my heart back, I can feel again. And what I feel is gratitude towards you. Thank you, you saved me. You feel warmth inside you. You're welcome. Nothing to give us? Nope. Well then... Should we talk to the king? We have helped... Well! Now I noticed! There's not darkness in the background, there are clouds! So I guess we talk to the king and see if we've helped enough to save Cloud Kingdom. Perhaps we have. I thought it was... It okay. What was that? What was that sound? Bells? Oliver, is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. Sounded almost like school bells ringing in or something. You did it! You saved the Cloud Kingdom! It's been so long since we've seen all the citizens so happy. I shall summon the citizens to witness our her heroics. Just wait a moment. We're all gathered here to celebrate our legendary heroes, who banished evil from our kingdom and brought back hope in our hearts. It is my honor to give you the title of the Prince and Princess of Cloud Kingdom. Please step forward. Cloud Kingdom will always remain in debt for your bravery. We will always welcome you back. Will you tell us how to get back home? Yes indeed. Those crowns are the key. Place them on the legendary hero statue and you'll be able to leave the kingdom. Thank you for everything, King Cloud. No, I should be the one thanking you too. Haley, we did it! We can go back home now. Finally, let's hurry! I wonder if we will reach the statues without anything interrupting, or will something happen along the way? With this game you can't be certain. Is it this way? I think so. Yes, it must be. Okay. Let's save and try to get out of here. The king told us to play the crown place the crown on the statues. Well, yeah, well let's do it and see what happens. Where are we supposed to go from here? Hmm, we could jump down. What? Down there? Yep, there's no other way we can go. But, 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 but we will land in the ocean. I'm sure we'll be fine. How can you be so sure? I don't want to die. This world is created from imagination, so if you just imagine it, everything will go well. Uh, I'm not sure about that. The king said the crown should be the key out of here. And I don't think he's trying to kill us or anything. So I'm going to jump. 
Don't worry, I won't let anything bad happen to you. So, will you jump with me? Yes. Oh, okay, I will jump. You're brave. Okay, take my hand and close your eyes if you feel like it. I won't let go. On three. One. Two. I'm gonna faint. Three! Yeah! Haha, <laughs> this is amazing! No, it's not! We're about to hit the water! Then hold tight! Ah! Huh? I'm alive? Oliver? Oliver, are you there? I'm here, are you okay? Where are we? Whoa! It's beautiful! But, but how can we breathe? Silly, this is an imaginary world. Everything is possible. Are <laughs> you right! We should keep going. Yeah, let's go. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. You seem to be okay too. Looks, lumps, looks like some sort of alley. This place looks really familiar. Could we be back home? I don't know, but I hope so. Let's go and see what's out there. Alleyway from the store, the school, obviously. It's it's an elementary school, Oliver. Oliver, are you right? Haley, we shouldn't go there. What do you mean? I've had bad feeling about this. We mustn't go there. It's just a school. There's nothing bad in that. I know this place. I went to school here when I was a kid. We need to keep going if we want to get back home. Please, Haley, let's not go in there. I feel some bad will happen in there. Hmm. You don't need to worry. We'll just stay then. Maybe you're right. I wonder if he's scared because when we or when Haley went to elementary school she was alone and she got an imaginary friend and that was Oliver and if we go back there maybe he's afraid that he will vanish or something? Well, I can rule out the middle part. We'll just stay then. Well, if we stay there we won't get anywhere. So, either I don't need you, don't need to worry, or maybe you're right. If we choose maybe you're right, maybe we can choose another path, perhaps? Because I don't know that there's uh, nothing to be worried about. I will trust Oliver in this. Okay, maybe you're right. We shouldn't go in there. Let's find a... Haley, Oliver! The bars won't move! Oliver, stay still! I will find a way to open it! No, don't go! I beg of you! Don't leave me here! We need to get out of here. I won't go far. I... Huh? Haley, Help me, Haley! No, no, no! No! Oliver! What the fuck? You can't just come here and take my own friend. Beware first graders. That's not nice at all. You crappy shadow figure, you. I suppose we will have to go into the school? 
I guess. There's the letter on the floor. This... this letter. Hello, my future self. How are you? What kind of life do you live? Have you grown up tall and pretty? Are mom and dad happy? Are you happy? I really like school, especially I like to play with so outside with my classmates. Is Alex still my best friend? I wish you never have to feel alone. Haley, age 8. I did write this in the second grade as a school assignment. Well, I'm not sure if the letter was very truthful or if we imagined a friend, perhaps. Door is locked. Hmm. Classroom 101. Locked. Classroom 102. Also locked. Hmm. Curious. Door is locked. Also locked. Maybe we should check the first floor first before going upstairs. Library. Nope. No, I guess we'll go up to the second floor. Classroom 202. One door has to be open somewhere. I guess it will be the absolutely last door I check. As always. Yep. So we better get up to the third floor. That's a big elementary school. Oops. So many classrooms. Okay, there's a possibility go to go in there. If we find a handle or something, maybe? Okay, we maybe don't go inside. Oh my god, we have to s decide again. Do we want to go inside? We haven't saved. No, just for now. Maybe we can check the other doors. First, or we'll see if we can save or something. Oh my god, we can't, so I guess we'll have to go in there. Because we have no other choice. Hello? Uh, Oliver? No, you're not. You can't be. I can't be? Why not? You're not who you used to be either, Haley. Stop toying with me. Where's Oliver? Where did you go? What did you do with him? 
You really forgot everything. Huh? Or did you choose to forget? I don't know. You don't know? It's not my fault. You can only blame yourself for not remembering. Then tell me what you what I forgot. I won't. There is something you have to find out on your own. I will wait for you at the playground. I hope you will find what you need. The art class is about to start in class 103 on the first floor. All first graders please gather right away for your assignment. Okay, so I guess I... My assumptions are correct. That he was our imaginary friend and we have forgotten all about him and he's hurt. I guess. Story of a Lonely Little Girl Part, part 3 The lonely little girl and her precious friend were always together, but then one day the lonely little girl had to go a far away land. Her friend didn't want to be left alone, so they traveled together. In the far away land the girl felt scared and she wanted to return home, but her precious friend encouraged her to keep going, and she so she did. But then the lonely little girl met a new friend, a better friend, and left the precious precious friend who had always been at, at her side, by her side. The precious friend could couldn't stand being left alone, so it disappeared. Yes, I guess so. I guess this is Oliver is our our imaginary friend who is very angry at us. I've had a bad feeling about this. It's probably better if I try to avoid the shadow kids. Yeah, I guess so too. Ooh. No, this is the classroom, that's the math classroom. Oh, we can go inside all the classrooms now. Okay. Maybe we should... Okay. Maybe we should uh, explore. Yes, take the ball. Uh, we should explore all the classrooms before going down downstairs. If we can. Something has been drawn on the wall. Was that a f four of clubs? Perhaps? Okay, we've got a drawing paper. Yes, take the flowers. Plastic flowers, okay. Empty vase. Apparently we, we don't need that. You stay over there. Oh my god, there's eyes everywhere. Is that the shadow kid? Could it be? Piece of draw and everyone is looking at us. No, we're not here. Can't see me. Bye. Oh. I think we should go inside and save before going further and this will be it for the fifth episode is it yes it is the fifth well uh, this is it and I hope to see you in the next episode um, we've saved cloud kingdom and now we will have to try to get Oliver um, or we will have to get our memories back of Oliver I guess well, 
I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!